for Quick Fix, our fast-paced, favorite fast-paced Q&A segment where any debate is on the table. Brian Blakely joining us. You got any fun plans for the weekend, Brian? I got a lot of fun plans. Hopefully to watch some college football, but we've got the Taste of Charlotte tomorrow and the dog show up at Cornelius, and then, you know, it's uh, baseball and football with the kids, man. All right, well, let's Sounds start awesome. your, your weekend off right with Quick Six. Let's put two minutes on the clock, and Grace, you go first. Who has more pressure on them this weekend, Bill Belichick or Tom Brady? Well, it is absolutely <laughs> Belichick. Tom Brady already won the breakup, winning a Super Bowl in his first season away, and Bill has been painted the jerk this week, so <laughs> he's still the one who has to prove can he win without Tom Brady. All right, Brian, what college football game are you most looking forward to watching tomorrow? Well, that Michigan-Wisconsin game on Fox 46, now they got that shameless plug out of the way. I'm all about the <laughs> SEC, baby. You got yep. Arkansas, Georgia, That's Ole Miss at Alabama. Those are going to be two great games. And, then, of course, my upset special is going to be Cincinnati going into Notre Dame and whacking them. All right, we got to yeah, keep like an that. eye out for that one. All right, Grace, how many NFL teams are going to be 4-0 and after this weekend? Okay, well, Cards and Rams are playing, so that eliminates one for me. I'm taking the Ravens over the Broncos. Sorry, Teddy. Chargers over the Raiders. All of the Chargers wins have come from Justin Herbert. Herbert leading game-winning drives in the fourth quarter, so I think he'll do it again. And I'm sorry, Cowboys over the Panthers. So I think that's one team left, one, one undefeated team? team. Yeah. Oh, gosh. That's a, a miserable weekend I'm for sorry. them. All right, Brian, who's been the most disappointing fantasy football player on your roster? Well, first, uh, which roster? I got six teams. <laughs> yeah. So we got to clarify that. But if you're talking about the Fox 46 OGs League, where Carla, you dusted me last week, it's Robbie Anderson. Come yeah. on, Same. Got five catches. Yeah, my husband has Robbie, too, and it's been very disappointing. What's up with that? Come on, throw it to him, Darnold. Yeah, got to get him more targets. All right, Grace, what game do the Panthers? absolutely have to have Christian McCaffrey back for. Can I say this Sunday against yeah, the Cowboys? All of them. We need him back yeah. for all. Um, I'm not worried about the Eagles last week with the way Tony Pollard just ran all over them on Monday Night Football. Honestly, looking at the schedule, I'm not worried until week 10 against the Cardinals, but That's as a while. soon as, I mean, yeah, I don't like looking that far <laughs> ahead without him. So just bring him back as soon as possible. Heal up, buddy. Yeah, everybody wants that. All right, Brian, it's officially spooky season now that it's October 1st. What's your favorite scary or maybe Halloween theme movie? Ghostbusters. I'm going way back, man. You got to see Ghostbusters. I should deal with that one. Grace, you don't like scary movies? I'm absolutely. I don't watch any, any suspense, thriller, scary. No, get yeah, it away from me. I don't either. <laughs> Like Halloween Town, the Disney, that's like as scary as all. Yeah. Well, Ghostbusters <laughs> is funny. It yeah. is funny. No, no, that's I a agree good one, with that Brian. one. All right. <laughs>